You okay? Yeah, I'm not used to the dirt. That on, on my Britishness. So. Bluntness? Yeah. I, 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 I prefer to say I'm honest, and if you don't like it, then that's on you, but... Okay, I get it. All right. Have you had barbecue yet? Oh, it's, it's genuinely an excuse to come to the States just for the barbecue. Just for the um, barbecue? I love the brisket and ribs. Ribs is amazing. Um, sort of in the UK, I was a chef for a year. I tried to replicate American barbecue, but um, our livestock just isn't as fat, so can't get it in the UK. So I have to come here to get my barbecue fix. So I usually leave the States weighing about 10 pounds heavier because, you know, I don't come here often. So I need to get a year's worth of barbecue in two weeks. Then. Yeah. Oh, cool. <coughs> What's crap, boys and girls? Danny here with Hollenbeck to Nowhere. I'm here with Sam. What's your full name? Williams. Sam Williams. And you're from? England. England! Do Americans do bad British accents? We can find out. Give it a go. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the US of A. It's pretty good, better than my American accent anyway. <laughs> Sam, Sam's here and he uh, came over the, the, is it Pacific? I mean, Pacific Ocean? Yeah, the Atlantic. The Atlantic. That's right, we'll look at a map later on. Okay. He came over the Atlantic uh, Ocean to to Texas, and now we're here at North Shore Trails in Grapevine, Texas. We're gonna ride today, and we did we meet on Instagram? Yeah. Instagram. Instagram. So we met on Instagram. Now we're gonna take. I'm gonna take him out to North Shore and show him what North Texas mountain biking is all about. Hopefully not destroy me in this heat. Not yeah. used to this being a Brit. Oof. He's not used to the heat at all. All right, you want to send us off? Send it. Send us off. Like whatever you say before you ride. I, I, I don't have one. I, I don't record. I don't have one. You better do it. <laughs> and here we go. Sam, you okay? You okay? Yeah, I'm not used to the dirt. <sighs> Man. Front tire. Oh, right there? Yeah. I bounce well. Oh, I saw this back wheel. <laughs> Literally, right there. Like back wheel. So this, soft. Yeah, I know it's this. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. All right. Just take some pictures. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Woo. That's good. Good. Getting used to the dust. <sighs> the dust. So this is really yeah. light. So, so different compared to the UK. Really having to get used to sort of putting your foot out in the burns. Is it hot? That is just so scrumptious. Oh, sand. Now we're on three. Is it marker three here? And there's like a big climb over here. Oh yeah, master. It's a doozy. It's quite small compared to today. It is? Yeah. <laughs> Little bitty. Sam's excited, he's getting dialed in on this. <laughs> he's getting dialed in on it. Oh man, really, really sandy. Whoopsie. All right, made it to 
Donkey Ledge Park. Is it Donkey Ledge Park? He saw his first puddle in Texas. Great bridge crossing. Oh my god. We gotta get moving. What's that climb at? It's coming up over here. Good diggity, man. We are at the end of the east side loop. Now we're headed back to the truck. Oh, fun. North Shore has all these quaint little climbs. Sometimes brutal climbs. Oh, tree. That is like the most fun part there. Just had two jumps, three jumps back to back to the creek crossing. Woo! Are you good? Woo! Nelly. Oh, that was just scrumptious. Oh, more climbs? Well, thank you, of course. Uh, I think Sam's really digging the Texas Trail. He doesn't like snakes though. So we haven't seen any, which is good. I forgot how one reacts to a uh, Someone who doesn't like snakes to seeing a snake. I don't know if I want to see that. Then again, I'm still kind of curious. All right, here he comes. All right, let's go. <laughs> the heads up, that log was never there. It's a telephone pole down. Brand new, hit it. Woo. Great trail. Good job, y'all. Stewart's keeping this thing well maintained. It's quite luxurious, I, I guarantee that. Man, it's got good flow on this other side, to the back side, to the west, no, east heading west, just good flowy, flowy McFlorentons just going on about this. <sighs> Bloody well like it very much. So flowy, good. Oh, jump. <laughs> Anyway, what I was saying is it's when it gets ridden really well or a lot, a lot, it gets really sandy in the trail. So uh, Sam's adjusting to it. I'm adjusting to it. It's pretty sandy, but overall, it's just the flow of North Shore is it's hard to beat. The flow is just it makes it fun. It makes it good. It makes it worth the stop. So we're on the East Loop loop. Yeah, we're on the East Loop here in Grapevine, Texas. Oh. took the outside line you just earned yourself some barbecue i think we need to get this, this get sam some delicious barbecue what do you think i think that's a good idea Ooh, nice climb to the creek oh i thought i heard a cat Ooh, that was awesome that was so good <sighs> feels good <sighs> <laughs> oh, that was a delicious set of turns. Ah. 
Huh? Those are the prettiest socks I've ever seen. How, did you see what brand those were? Bright blue. Right. Sam can't do lycra. I saw his blue socks behind me and I said, I better pull over. He means business. Who are you, blue sock guy? Why don't you uh, stop and break some bread with us? Thus endeth Sam's experience at North Shore Trail East Loop. I think uh, he's earned some nibbles. Should have parked in the shade. <laughs> Ooh. You've earned it. Oh, bums. No bruise bum. All right. Okay, so we just finished East Loop Trail here at North Shore. It was a lot of fun. We did pretty good timing. I'll look at the time. I'll look at Strava. Strava. What do you think of the, your first U.S.? Is this your first U.S. mountain bike trail? Yeah, first U.S. mountain bike trail. First mountain bike trail on a separate continent or different country. So I loved it. Sort of the dirt took a bit of getting used to, definitely. But um, I'm loving how loose it is. Cool. The trail is a lot different. A lot different. But I am. Um, an absolute mess right now. I need a pint and some barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Uh, Sam earned some barbecue and a pint, so we've got to get some barbecue in this man. He understands about barbecue in Texas. All right, here we go. Made it to Hutchins Barbecue. They're playing my song. Hutchins Barbecue here in McKinney, Texas. Can you relate, y'all? Barbecue in like a year and a half. No, it's been it's too ready. long. Once when I was having barbecue somewhere else, like someone said, go try Hutchins. I believe this is what they were talking about. So it looks pretty dang serious. So I'm excited to be here. They also have fried catfish. Another thing, I love fried catfish. That and peach cobbler. So macaroni and cheese is your go-to? Yeah. And peach and cobbler? Peach cobbler after. But sort of um, use a different uh, weight system. So I don't actually know how much a pound is or whatever. So I remember the, la the literally the last time I had barbecue one and a half years ago. We had two kilograms of brisket. Well, I said something like that and I got a full like cow rib, beef rib. About That's that what we big. want, yeah. By accident. <laughs> Finished it. I'm gonna adjust my, uh, we'll adjust our uh, pounds to kilograms. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. That'll be helpful. <laughs> All right, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Sean Treese. Sean <laughs> Treese is here. It's her first time at Hutchins. And who are you with? This, this is my husband, Michael. Hi, Michael. Welcome to the show. Sam came uh, 1,700 miles. Can you guess what this is? Thing of beauty. This great. This is a Texas Twinkie here at Hutchins. I think, uh, yeah, it's really big. It's the size of a small Chihuahua. Like, look at that. A Texas Twinkie filled with brisket and some yummy cheese and wrapped in, you guessed it, bacon. Look at that. Anyway, we've already been to the barbecue. Sam is really excited. He earned barbecue he, uh, because he, he fell today. You didn't? Well, maybe a little one. It's the first one. one. Scratch. Yeah, within the first five minutes. Over the handlebars. I just saw the back tire come up. And that freaked me out. I was like, oh, end of the ride. Well, I don't have any travel insurance. Okay. So I have to be a bit tame. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to have to remortgage my house. Alright, All right, explain barbecue from a person from across the Atlantic. What is your take on it? Here. So yeah, barbecue, um, as far as American it's like Australian barbecue. So we get some charcoal, sort of, you know, griddle, and we just cook things all the way. Um, the UK people just smoke it. So we can't do this in the UK, because our animals are as fancy as yours. So I've got a, a big thing of brisket in the freezer. <laughs> I'm going to try and replicate this as a chef, obviously, so I try and replicate things I need, but I won't come anywhere near this place to this. It's amazing. That's what I'm thinking about moving now. <laughs> we have the 
We have the green beans, we got the, I got spicy beans and the regular beans. Of course, we know the Texas Twinkie and you get marble, marbled deliciousness. Look at that. So we got marbled brisket. Now we're just gonna jump into it. We're gonna give you the tasting. Ah, see, I like that light right there. It's very subtle. Uh, anyway, we rode today at the North Shore Mountain Bike Trail. It was an amazing trail. Wonderful trail. You like it overall though? It's glowy nice. It's very nice, yeah. Glowy and nice. And they have spicy, they have tangy barbecue, they have tangy barbecue at the table, paper towels are for the table. They have spicy and regular, and it's really good. This is like one of my favorites because it has a lot of brown sugar in it. And it's really tasty, you really like the brown sugar. And then it has the regular sauce, and you'll see it over in the station where there's the ice cream station. They have wafer pudding, what's it called? Vanilla wafer pudding? The regular sauce is very vinegary. I like that, I like the vinegar taste. Ooh. Absolutely wonderful. The sausage is really good. So the sausage, I always get the jalapeno sausage, keeping it spicy. It's absolutely amazing. Looks really good. Good flavor, nice spice. The green beans are amazing. Run in the mill green beans, but that's how everybody does their barbecue, their side dishes. Very subtle. I like the bacon flavor to it, and not a lot of pepper. So they put in a lot of bacon love into this thing. And then they have the jalapeno beans, the baked beans. Drop my jalapeno on my tea. Jalapeno flavored tea. Check out this Texas Twinkie. What's it like? It's like the... You want some of this? No. Pretty good. I never had one. I read about it. It's very interesting. Brisket stuffed jalapenos. That's worth it. Just, just one. Only on front. Wow. That's really good. That's so good. Dip on the brown sugar. Is that your first bit of brisket? Yeah. That's really good. That's really good. That is ridiculously good. Remember the layers? This, the red layer is a lot thinner than the, a couple other places. Right there. Smoking rim. Yeah, smoking rim? Ring. Ring. Smoking ring. I'm so glad the chef's here. Yeah, smoking ring. I always tell about the red, the smoking ring. It's really amazing. Wow. It packs a lot of flavor. Like it's holding. It. It's really holding all that flavor. Wow. Holy cow. Hutchins Barbecue. We're the one in Bikini. I hear there's the other one's in Frisco, right? Yeah. There's no one in Frisco. But I could tell we saw I saw the barbecue sign. I saw the sign, it's like from night, it's the original sign. This is the original spot. This is the original spot. It used to be, what was the other name? Roy's. Roy's Barbecue? Roy's Smokehouse. Roy's Smokehouse. That's good barbecue, man. Look at that. This is really good. We're gonna finish eating here, and then we're gonna go hit Irwin Trail. Keep going. All right, love y'all. Thanks for hanging out. Come check out Hudson's Barbecue. Don't forget about the Texas Twinkie. Jalapeno stuffed goodness with uh, brisket. This thing is worth a stop, but the, the barbecue is top notch. Oh, Erwin, you got that new little jump at the front. Oh, that's awesome. Sam's acclimating well to the Texas trails. We got a full belly full of barbecue. Oh my gosh. Ugh. It's a good day, it's overcast. I thought it was getting a lot hotter today. Seems like it's cool now. That was so deliciously wonderful. Uh, Veer to your right. Step ups over here somewhere. Good news, no snakes yet. <laughs> So that's really good news, man. Step up! Woo -hoo -hoo. That was a mighty fine step up. Mighty fine. That was deliciously wonderful. That one open field. Woo! Well, you can really get going there. I like that part. It's very nice. So far, the Irwin is hard packed and wonderful. I'm glad it's in good condition for Sam's visit here at wonderful Irwin Park. And it landed really heavy on the front wheel. Oh, 
Where was your stomach the whole time? Stomach was probably above the handlebars. <laughs> oh, okay. That's not a Superman. What is that called? It's like that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gargoyle. Is that what it is? I think. I don't know. That's are right there. Yeah. We had quite a ride today. Quite a ride. You want to ride that the last two miles? No, yeah, man. Let's do it. Let's switch. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to ride Stephen Puska's bike. See what it's all about. See why it bucks everybody. Just look at this. Oh, my. All right. Yeah. I can see things happening. Oh, this thing's light. It's light. Yeah. Yeah. Have fun, man. It's bikes. He's on the Santa Cruz Nomad. He's loving it. And I'm uh, ride Stephen Puska's bike, the Cannondale 29. Oh. 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 <laughs> it's extremely rigid. It's on the lefty. See? It's a very extremely rigid carbon frame. Oh, it's an SI. Is that SI? Man, it's a different animal, man. But it's fast. It's really fast. I mean, really fast, Steven. Woo. Man, you can really move on this thing. Woo. I'll come back for you later. Very fast. And very hard to use the camera with one hand and ride the bike at the same time. Not like my Santa Cruz. Almost towards the end. Whew. Forgot what a hardtail feels like. It feels stiff. The trail is in immaculate condition. It's just wonderful. Oh. Hard packed and oof, it's in great condition. How was it? Good, really good. But uh, I think you Americans have defeated the Brits for the third time now. <laughs> Absolutely pooped, destroyed. Not used to the hot weather. Oh my god, the weather's hot. Hotter yeah. than I thought. That's why I wear big glasses. Yeah. You can't tell how much I'm struggling underneath. <laughs> oh, well, thanks for uh, riding with me today. Yeah, and thanks for bringing me out. It's been amazing. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Cool. Yeah, thank you, everybody. Boys and girls, Sam. Peace. Okay. If you're ever in Europe, drop me a message. And I'll take you for a ride in the UK or anywhere else. Heck yeah, so everybody look him up. I'll leave his uh, account, his IG account. Yeah, I had a great ride here at Irwin. We went to that East Loop and North Shore. It was a good day, so we got a bit of North Shore. And I had to bring him to Irwin. It was a toss up between Boulder and Oak Cliff Nature Preserve. I was like, man, they got so many good features. It's got good flow. We did the whole trail system. We did yeah. the whole trail. Yeah, we did the whole. So we did seven miles over there and about eight over here, like 15. So all in all, he got a good taste of of the trails here in North Texas. He's even beat up, so that's pretty easy. He's happy, and we had an excellent barbecue. But barbecue. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, and then uh, I'll leave a link information for Sam. Find him. Go visit him over in, in England and have a pint with him. Anyway, thank you for watching. Love y'all. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe out there. Keep riding. Peace.